welcome to my channel. So as you can see from the title of the video and from the thumbnail, we are here to do a wig review. This wig is called Alvina and she's actually from Bobby Boss, part of their Glueless Lace Wig Collection and she was sent out to me by DivaTrust.com. Big shout out to DivaTrust for always hooking me up, keeping the girl here laid, honey, okay? Now, I want to go ahead and first show y'all how I got her styled like this because right out of the box, she wasn't looking this jazzy, but you know how we do on this channel. I am going to show y'all how to take the wig from, you know, eh, to yes. So let's go ahead and get into that first. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get this bang look out of the baby hairs. I'm not sure if it's because of the packaging or something like that, but usually when I get these wigs and they come with the baby hairs installed, I have to just take the flat irons and press them out a little bit so that they can be straight for the next step. Now, I started off just tweezing. Honestly, I did not have the best tweezers, so make sure you have a really good pair of tweezers because it makes this process so much quicker than what it took me. I then decided to use a razor comb to thin it out and was just gonna move much faster. Be very careful with the razor comb though because you can hurry up and cut your baby hairs. You can also cut your forehead a little bit like I did, y'all. I've been so clumsy lately, but that's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna brush those back and pull my cap down and just adjust my wig. Now, first things first, I'm going to spray some lace tint spray from Wig Extensions all over my hairline and that's just to ensure that it looks nice and flat and neat well not flat but that the color is right for the hairline and then I'm gonna take the blow dryer and just dry it a little bit because it does pump out wet very wet now I'm gonna take the gotta be glued and I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on my forehead and then I will take the blow dryer and just lock it all in All right, so I went ahead and I just let that dry for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and cut off the ear tab first. I think I saw someone do this and I decided I want to try it out. Um, not cutting my lace, but basically doing it this way first. And I actually like this method better. So if you haven't tried this method and you're a little apprehensive, I definitely suggest that you do it because it just basically allows me to see my hairline better and cut off exactly what I need, no more, no less. And I like to just take my time, especially because I'm looking in the camera and the mirror and I wear glasses so I can't always see everything. All right, and then I'm just going to blow dry it down again. And then I'm showing y'all how tight and secure it is. This has just gotta be glue spray, absolutely no gel. Now I'm going to part the wig in the way that I want it to go for styling purposes. And then I'm going to start working on my baby hair. Now I like a little bit of spray and I was taking the comb at first. I wish I had my edge brush. It is my personal favorite, but I'm trying out with this comb and I didn't have any mousse. If you have mousse as well, it works so much better. I tried this again with the mousse and it was so much easier. Baby hair is a labor of love. So just take your time. Do not be too hard on yourself. And basically after I let them dry, this is what I ended up with. And I think it looks pretty good. So I really hope that that little tutorial helped. Now let's go ahead and get into the review of the unit. So at first glance, I saw the color and I was like, uh, I don't know. I've done red hair before and I've done orange hair before, but I've never done a combination of the two. But when I saw that it did have a dark root, I was like, all right, dear, you're probably gonna be able to pull it. So I went ahead and got it in the color TT1B R.O 
orange. Well, going into the hairline. Now, this wig is advertised as a glueless lace wig. Um, now, I personally feel like glueless just, it doesn't mean glueless. It is a 13 by 7 extended lace frontal. So, I definitely would not just rock this without any type of adhesive. That's just me. It also comes with an adjustable elastic band inside the cap. So that's what it looks like. And I feel that that is great because I'm feeling a really nice tight security. So it has the regular band that, you know, all the wigs come with your standard. And then it has that elastic band, which adds that extra bit of security. Now, going into the parting space. The parting space is so freaking good, y'all. I'm just going to like take my finger. I'm going to show y'all a few of the parts. So that's like one over here. It's like one over here. You can pretty much part it however you want to part it. You can take it from the center. I'm sorry. You can take it from this side part over to the center. You can do a lot with this wig unit. As far as the actual lace quality goes i think the lace is very comparable honestly with a lot of my ally express wigs it's a very decent lace it isn't too thin which i don't like the too thin ones because they're easy to rip and tear apart but it isn't too thick and it's not scratchy on my forehead either now the actual hairline as well i think they did a good job plucking it now you can certainly and by all means go ahead and spend the rest of your evening the rest of your days plucking and plucking and tweezing away and adding more customization to the unit. I just personally didn't. All I have to say that I really do love this unit. I love the color. I personally think that it is a unit that's meant more for the hot girl summer. Kai said that she thinks it is like a fall unit because of the orange, but I think you can get away with either or. The color is just so freaking pretty and gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some angles. So this is giving it to you from the side view. Yes, got the bounce and everything with it. <laughs> Here's the other angle. Hair flip. My baby here trying to fall. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this unit to be honest. I have to give it a five out of five stars. I really can't see any other improvements that the company could have done to make the unit any better than what it was because even with the customization which you should be expecting to do it was still very quick to install very quick and easy to um well I won't say easy because y'all saw I was struggling with them baby hairs but other than that, <laughs> it was a pretty easy wig to install. So yeah, definitely five out of five stars. Check it out. Shedding and tangling, I realize I just didn't address that. I have not had any tangling, nor have I had any shedding yet. I definitely suspect that this unit is probably going to do better on the tangling aspect because it's not really too many curls. It's more of a soft curl going on here. So I don't think that the tangles are going to be like birds and that's 3000. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this review and comment down below and let me know, will you be getting this wig? Before you go, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss when I upload and also hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload. Thumbs up this video because it definitely helps my channel and if you really 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 like this video please share it because I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart always you can email me if you're interested in sending me any products to review if you have your own company also my PO box and my registries for my baby girl is down below so you can definitely check that out if you're interested I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart thank y'all so much for watching my channel I'll see y'all next time and so then stay pretty